questions are used to uh, quite superficially. For example, I, uh, I have a question, I Google it, probably. I have a question, I ask uh, a teacher, the teacher has, uh, has an answer, I write down the, the, the answer. I store it inside my, my brain and inside my notebook. Therefore, I know. Usually a question is, uh, is a very simple format. There is a question, there is a, the... This question mark, and it's, it's more like an anxious uh, expectation to receive, to receive something in return, to be filled. To know. I don't know, I want to know. Right? That's, that's quite obvious. The problem with the, with, with the fact that, that, we, that we think we know is that despite all the books that have been written in, in human history, despite all our experiences, Despite everything that, that, we, that we, we seem to be convinced about, when it comes to big questions, we are still asking them. That's, that's the reality. Isn't it shocking? Sometimes I look at, uh, at all these billions and billions of books that, that have been written, and I'm thinking, oh my God, it's like so much has been written and still nothing has been resolved. It's like we are still asking exactly the same questions. Your spiritual journey started with a question, whether you defined it in your mind or not. It, it doesn't matter. It, it all starts with, with, a, with a question. Technically speaking, we should have been satisfied with, with some answer from some book, but we're not. And this is because the role of questions in, is not to lead to an answer. So that's why I said at the beginning of, of, the, of this morning, uh, you, we need to prepare to, to think about really obvious things in a very different way. This is not what questions do. This is not why they are here in our minds and in our hearts. And I say always, by the way, in our minds and in our hearts, because we tend to think that questions are a very intellectual thing. Right? It's like that, uh, of course, this is a brain thing. This is an um, intellectual curiosity. But every real question that we have starts within our heart not within our mind. It's always our heart that, that, uh, that questions. And there is a reason for that. I will, I will soon explain it. I must share with you that, uh, that, that whenever I speak of, of question, and I don't speak usually of questions, uh, This, this topic particularly touches and excites me. I think there is something really holy about the presence of, of a question and what it can do. And that is because the, the main power of a question 
the reason for, for their existence inside, inside our heart is, is that they, they have been planted inside our heart by, by the source of life, by the mystery itself. It's like, a, it's like the, the strongest technique of the mystery of life to take us back home. The question burns in us, then it drives us. It drives us to go beyond what we already know. But they never lead us to an actual answer. Because they're not meant to. Remember, as we started this morning, the mystery is not going to be resolved. You will never be able to say, unless you are, I don't know, you are really uh, uh, self-deluding. The God is three dots. Love is three dots. You understand what I want to say, three dots? Like, like putting a, a, com a complete answer that can be encapsulated in, in a few sentences or in a book. And that is because questions are not, no question can be satisfied by, by leading us to a point of, of intellectual or mental knowing. Questions are not intellectual or mental. They are transformative. They're meant to change us by in the way we are asking them. And in the process that we are going through with them, and they're meant to lead us to a state of consciousness, a, a different state of being. That is, in a way, the answer. <laughs> 